All right, coming up next, we get to this welterweight bout between Matt the Immortal Brown and the UFC Hall of Famer, Matt Hughes. You ready? You ready? All right, so the fight is now underway. On one side, you have a fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. It's going to be interesting to see how long he can keep it upright. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Oh, nice combination of strikes there. In terms of the accuracy, I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting pads. It's like he's hitting focus pitch, but instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. Ooh, blocks the shot. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great timing to land that punch. I, I don't do that as well as you do it, but man, he's coming out swinging tonight. He is bringing the heat. This dude is trying to end this night early. Can you give us some ooey, please? Fantastic take out land. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. gonna start looking to try to attack a rear naked choke, and that's exactly what he's doing. His opponent's got double hooks in, now under the chin. It's starting to get deep. Nicely done. Not allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. Just over two minutes now to go. All right, stacking him up here, keeping the pressure on. I know you guys do a lot of this training with your jujitsu coach there in San Jose. Oh, absolutely, but it's a difference. If your feet are on our hips, it's a problem. So we shove them through the middle. We shove them through the middle so that our legs can be what controls your feet. Right. We're not using our hands. I'm not using my hands. I'm using my legs to just kind of wheel and deal you from side to side. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. There is blocked. Nice job by the defense. 15 seconds. Here's his lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but strong. You didn't like that. Oh. Outstanding back and forth first round. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. Second round underway. Oh, nice strike landed there. Nice one-two combination there. Whoa! Hughes gets up, but he looks dazed and confused. Oh, big left hook there. He is getting lit up right now, John. There he goes, working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, 
guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch, and the first one you learn is a jab. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. He's got him hurt here. they come together because they understand the power that these guys are striking with. Back to the feet. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Well, defense, yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. He's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but... Oh! Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Brown. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh! Huge right hand! to a nice shot. Oh! He's out! He's done, he's done! <laughs> Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing is going to stop to this contest at three minutes, 42 seconds of round number two. Declare the winner by knockout, Matt the Immortal Watch, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.